Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daria. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, today's practice was a requested video. This is yoga for runners. So it's gonna be kind of a mobility slash recovery style of practice. We'll be working with a lot of hip opening as well as hamstrings, quads, calves, feet, and ankles. So kind of full lower body flow. All that you'll need for this class is some place to move and yourself. And when you're ready, let's get into it. We'll get started in child's pose. So come to the back of your mat, bring your toes to touch, spread your knees open about as wide as the mat, and then walk your fingertips forward until you can bring your forehead to connect with the mat. Take a couple moments here just to settle into your body and try to really turn your awareness inward and begin to notice sensations. Notice spaces that might feel a little bit sticky or sore or tight, as well as places that feel really open and free. Let the palms of your hands spread and burrow deeply down to the earth. Slide your shoulders down your back, elongate your spine, and then start to melt your hips closer to your heels. Rock a little side to side. Begin to notice the quality and the rhythm of your breath today. Are you breathing shallowly or is the breath deeper, fuller? Are there any places where the breath is getting caught as you inhale or as you exhale? If there are, start to soften through those kinks, letting the breath be really fluid and free. Take a big inhale through your nose. And let's just take a big exhale out of the mouth to sigh and clear any tension right away. One more like that. Inhale, breathe in through your nose and elongate your spine. Exhale, sigh through your mouth as your hips soften towards your heels. And now we'll inhale and exhale through the nose, beginning to build some heat in the body. Press down through your palms and shift forward to hands and knees, a tabletop shape. Keep your knees wide though and the toes are together. Tuck them behind you and you can bring your palms just like a hand's distance forward of your shoulders so they're not stacked directly beneath like usual. And from here we'll start to shift the hips back toward the heels creating a, an arch in the spine. So the sitting bones are stretching wide and the heart is pulling to the top of the mat. We're like creating an active child's pose. Then as you exhale, curl and hollow your front body up toward your spine and then begin to shift forward. So flowing back and forth between these two movements, inhale, glide the hips back towards your heels, reach forward through your heart, press your fingertips down, and then exhale, hug belly button up towards spine, shift forward to hands and knees with your spine pulling toward the sky. One more time, inhale, glide your hips back, and exhale, stretch all the way forward. And now we'll come to a more traditional tabletop. So palms stack under the shoulders and then the, the knees are right under the hips. You can untuck your toes. Move through a few rounds of fluid cat cows riding your own breath. So on the inhale, you'll soften the front body, lift tailbone, sitting bones spread wide, stretch your heart to the top and lift your gaze. And then on the exhale, hollow your core, press the earth actively down through your palms, lift your spine toward the sky. Inhale for cow. And exhale for cat. Try to really squeeze your front body to your back body like you're hugging your organs to each other. One more time. Inhale, ripple forward, ride the breath and let the movement last as long as your inhalation. And then exhale, cat. Neutralize your spine, tuck your toes behind you. Claw the mat firmly with your fingertips, creating a solid lock. And then really gently, slowly shift up and back to downward facing dog. And try to right away breathe down the back line of your body here. So allow your breath to be like a comb, like it's combing through the threads 
any knots or tangles in the back line of your legs. You can pedal your feet, bending one knee and then the other to press opposite heel closer to the mat and breathe into your calves and your hamstrings. And then when you're ready, you can find more of a steady posture. So rooting palms and feet down and then pressing them away from each other. Draw in at your waist as you hug your hands together and revolve your shoulders away from each other. Keep the back of your neck long. And even if things are feeling stuck here, even if there's sticky spots, maybe along the spine or down your legs, see if you can create some flow with your breath. So feeling the inhales and the exhales, move right to the core of that sensation that you're feeling. And then noticing as your body becomes infused with more softness, so everything is pliable rather than solid. As you inhale, press into your left toes and sweep your right leg high, three-legged down dog. And try to keep the top of your right foot pointing down toward the earth so the hips stay square. And we'll pause here. Let this be less about lifting the right leg super high and more about feeling the stretch into the back of the left leg. Keep a micro bend in left knee. Take one more inhale here. As you exhale, lift your left heel, hug right knee to your chest, and then stuff, softly step your right foot to the top of your mat between your palms. Come onto your fingertips. And we'll take a few circles here into the right hip. So just shifting the pelvis forward, around to the right, slightly back, and then over to the left. You can think of coming forward to the really very tip of your left toes sliding to the right and then as you go back press your left heel to the back wall and glide to the right one more circle in this direction you can go slow or quick whatever's feeling good and then reverse the direction of your circles so first to the back and then all the way around and try to keep your right big toe mound and your right pinky toe anchoring down to the earth And then pause when you've completed those circles to the other direction. Step your left hand down and as you inhale, sweep your right fingertips up to the sky. Create buoyancy in your pelvis by pulling your right heel and your left toes toward each other isometrically without actually moving them. Gaze up towards your right fingertips. Take one more inhale to grow more deeply into the earth and up into the sky. Then as you exhale, glide your right elbow toward your right ankle. So come all the way down but keep your core engaged belly hug spine two more times inhale right fingertips sweep high gaze up exhale right elbow toward right ankle inhale exhale as the elbow comes down squeeze your right knee toward your right shoulder and come back to fingertips and we'll land the left knee down to the mat. As you inhale, sweep your fingertips up high. Create like a scissoring action between your legs here. And from this pulling together of your legs, draw energy in and up through your torso to cinch at your waist and puff your heart. Then as you exhale, interlace your fingers over the front of your right thigh. And we'll take a few breaths here, using the inhale to pull the legs toward each other. And then on the exhale, imagine that your hips are like honey and melt your pelvis down and forward, breathing into the front of the left hip, the hip flexor region. So be careful not to just sink into your joint, but we're staying really active. So inhale, squeeze the midline, and then exhale, melt it down and forward. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Root your fingertips down in front of your right foot. Pick up your left knee and then softly step to the top of your mat with the left foot. Feet can be hips distance apart and we'll fold into ragdoll. You can do whatever you want with your arms. So options are maybe to grab for opposite elbows. You can interlace your hands behind your head to really help with lengthening the spine and dropping the back of the neck. Or you can go for a chest expansion if you like. Wherever you are, 
Let the soles of your feet melt thoroughly down into the earth and allow your whole spine to drop. Once again, create a bit of flow here with your breath so that every time you inhale, there's a lengthening action. And every time you exhale, something lets go, something drops deeper and softens. Take one more inhale here. And an exhale. Root your fingertips to the earth in front of your toes. Take an inhale for halfway lift. Elongate your spine evenly forward and back. Then as you exhale, plant your palms down and we'll step back to high plank pose. Now here you can either stay lifted or lower your knees, whatever you need. Shift forward slightly so the shoulders move in front of your wrists. Lower chaturanga. And then melt your pelvis and your heart and your chin to the mat. Untuck your toes, extend your right arm out to the side, press your left hand into the mat, and then roll until you come to the right side of your body. Step your left toes off of the mat behind you and relax your head down. If this feels like a lot, it's okay to stack the feet as well. Breathe into the front of right shoulder. And try to let this be a really easy posture so everything can just surrender to gravity, Allow your face to relax, your jaw, your eyes, your scalp. And then roll back through center, pour your belly down to the earth and switch. So the left arm extends wide, right arm plants down and then roll to the left side of your body as the right toes come back behind you or stack your feet. Keep your breath smooth, steady, deep and full. Allow your inhales and your exhales to have the same quality and the same duration. Good, and then roll all the way back to your belly. Plant your palms, tuck your toes, we'll press through hands and knees, and then all the way back to downward facing dog, lift the tailbone, spread the sitting bones. And take a few rounds of breath here in down dog, coming back to this home base. And just notice as you breathe, if there have been any little shifts from when we started practice to now, any subtle adjustments in your sensational experience or maybe in your mental space or emotional state. And press your right toes more firmly down and as you inhale, sweep the left leg high, lifting it up from your hamstring so the hips stay square. Keep a bend in your right knee, just a little bend, and then breathe into the back line of your legs. One more inhale here. As you exhale, lift your right heel, hollow your core, pull knee to chest, and then softly step left foot to the top of your mat. Keep the right knee lifted as you come to fingertips. Now again, we'll create those circles. So revolving your hips or your pelvis forward, around to the left, back, and then to the right. Feel free to pause anywhere, any place that feels like it needs a little extra massage and breathe into that space for a few moments. When you're ready, you can reverse the direction of the circles. And then pause and find stillness, steadiness. Press your right palm fully flat down to the mat. As you inhale, sweep your left fingertips high, lift your gaze and pull your feet toward each other. So the outer left hip is pulling a little bit back so the right hip can pull forward. Inhale here. As you exhale, bend your right elbow, bend your left elbow and draw it toward your ankle. And if it doesn't come all the way to the ankle, that's okay. As you inhale, sweep left fingertips high, lift your pelvis. As you exhale, elbow to ankle or maybe your calf, wherever is available. One more time, inhale, sweep the fingertips high, grow longer, 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 and then exhale, settle down. Root your left fingertips and softly sink your right knee down to the mat behind you. As you inhale, hug left heel and right knee toward each other. Dig your left big toe into the mat and sweep your fingertips high. 
And then as you exhale, release your palms to the top of left thigh, interlacing your fingers, and then spin your thumbs to face down toward the mat. Now here, on the inhale, hug everything to the midline. Feel energy pulling up through the central column of your spine, lifting all the way past the crown of your head. And then on the exhale, melt the hips down and forward. Inhale, squeeze left heel and right knee toward each other. Exhale, sink down. One more like this. Inhale. Exhale. Root your fingertips down in front of your left toes. Pick up your right knee and we'll step forward to a fold at the top of the mat. Keep the feet hips distance apart. This time we'll bring in a, a bit more of an active hamstring stretch. So you can bend your knees as much as you need and then hook your big toes with your peace fingers, the thumb, middle, and index finger. Then press your toes down into the earth. It's like you're gonna squish your fingers under your toes. As you pull back on your toes to reach the crown of your head to the top of the mat, like a halfway lift, squeeze belly button to spine. And then as you exhale, widen your elbows, cast your heart forward and down as if it could melt into the earth. To deepen the stretch here, you can engage your core so it's like you're squishing front body to back body again. So here, we'll, we're simultaneously activating the muscles in the back of your legs and stretching into them. Feel your breath flow and try to soften into the effort. So even though there's some pulling action in the hands and a stamping action down of the toes. Can you find comfort even in maybe a bit of discomfort? Release your fingers from under your toes, root your fingertips down in front of you, and then as you inhale, find a halfway lift. Stretch back through the core of your pelvis as you reach the crown of your head forward. Then exhale, plant your palms, step your toes back, high plank. Lower to knees or don't, shift forward, and we'll lower to chaturanga, elbows to ribs. From here, untuck your toes and press to upward facing dog or cobra if you prefer. Take a big inhale here to press down through your palms and then with as much energy, lift up through the crown of your head. As you exhale, glide back to downward facing dog leading with your sacrum. Take a big inhale through your nose. And a sigh if you need it, exhale out through your mouth. Don't be afraid to breathe with sound. Really press anything you don't need out of your body and into the earth. One more time, inhale through your nose. Exhale, sigh, let that go. As you inhale, we'll stretch the right leg high, three-legged down dog. As you exhale, lift your left heel and then step your right foot all the way to the top of your mat, but step it outside of your right pinky finger. So it's a wide stance. And then we'll softly lower the left knee to the mat. As you inhale, pull your hands back towards your left knee, but without actually moving them, just dig them down and create some traction to stretch your heart to the top of your mat. And then as you exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, lift your heart, draw the arms towards straight. Exhale, hug your right knee towards your right shoulder and bend your elbows. One more, inhale. Exhale, bend your elbows and then stay here. Stay wherever your threshold is, wherever you find the edge or that sweet spot where you're feeling sensation but it's not so overwhelming that you can't linger there. Maybe lower your elbows all the way to the mat, runner's lunge. Now really emphasize the elongation of your breath and become a master at directing the breath. Intend it right to the space that needs a release. Where can you soften more? Maybe the outer right hip, maybe the front of the left hip, or maybe it's somewhere entirely different where you know that you habitually store tension, like your face, or the back of your neck, or between your shoulders. Take one last inhale, and one last exhale. 
Come up to your palms. Left toes are tucked behind you. Lift your left knee and we'll step sweetly back to down dog. However you need to get there is great. As you inhale, lift your left leg high. And as you exhale, step the left foot up to the top of the mat in a wide stance outside of the left pinky finger. Softly, sweetly lower the right knee to the mat. As you inhale, stretch your heart to the top of the mat. It's like your spine is growing and all your vertebrae are stretching away from each other. And then exhale to bend your elbows and sink more deeply toward the earth. Inhale. Exhale, elbows bend, heart pulls forward. One more time, inhale, elongate. On the exhale, bend your elbows, keep the length, and then start to settle into your personal edge. And try to let go of any ideas or conceptions that you may have about the level of depth that you should achieve in this shape. Try to just go internally and feel. Sometimes it can help to close the eyes and really let your depth and your edge be motivated by what it feels like rather than what it looks like externally. And try to soften your gums and your teeth all the way to the very back tooth on the top and bottom row. Let your cheekbones relax, breathe through your sinuses and create more fluidity into your hips, melting just a little bit deeper into what you're feeling with every breath. And press into your elbows if you're on them and reground your palms. Pick up your right knee and gently glide back to downward facing dog. Sink your knees down to the mat at the same time in the same way. Keep your toes tucked and we'll come back to sitting on our heels. So a little foot stretch. Try to make sure all 10 toes are tucked even if you have to manually reach around and tuck the pinky toes. Bring your palms to face up on your thighs. Close your eyes and try to settle into the sensations here. Focus on your breath. Focus on breathing in and breathing out for the same amount of time. You can do a count of five, maybe four, maybe six, whatever you need. Soften shoulders away from your ears. Keep your spine long. Keep collarbones pulling away from each other so your heart stays open and then allow the palms of your hands to soften even more. You can imagine that there's sandbags resting in your hands, so they're really open and really earthy. And take two more breaths here at your own pace. Blink your eyes open if you close them. Untuck your toes, feel that nice release. And then we'll bring our hands back behind us. Point your fingertips to face forward and see if you can pick up your knees away from the mat. It might just be really subtle lift. And try to stretch into the tops of your feet. So press your toenails down, lift your knees. You can bend your elbows. And then softly lower the knees back down to the mat and come up to a seat. Roll to one sitting bone or the other, and we'll create a 90-90 shape in the legs, or it's like a stag position. Swing your right leg forward to start, and your shin will be aligned with the top of your mat here. The left knee comes out from the left hip. Now, two options here. Either you can leave your fingertips down to the mat, or bring your hands to interlace behind your skull. Take an inhale to root down through your sitting bones and reach up through the crown of your head. Then as you exhale, we'll fold forward, keeping a flat back. So it's like you're trying to stretch your heart forward of your right shin. Then as you inhale, lift back up with a flat back. So fingertips to the earth will kind of lessen the intensity here. Take what you need. Two more times, inhale. Exhale, shift forward, keep the spine lengthening. 
Inhale, rise, flat back. Exhale, lower forward. I lied, one more time. Inhale, sit up straight and tall. This time, as you exhale, we'll fold forward and then we'll stay. So you can release your fingertips down, maybe elbows down in front of the right shin. Wherever you are, whether it's fingertips or elbows that are connected, try to create a pulling action. Pull back toward your torso as the heart stretches forward. And then begin to soften into the stretch. And keep both of your feet pretty actively flexed. And you can press the knife edge of right foot down and the inner edge of left foot down. And then sweeten the breath. Try not to force anything. Don't force any openings beyond where you naturally are, but rather follow the flow of the breath. Notice the subtle shifts, the subtle openings, and then dig into them. One last inhale here. Last exhale, what can you let go? Rise up to a seat, pull your fingertips in, and then we'll swivel to face the long edge of the mat. Ground your heels as your hands go back behind you. And then just drive your knees out to the side a couple of times, nice and gently. And then windshield wiper the knees right to left. If you'd like to pause on one side, play around, do so. And then we'll go the other way. So the left shin will be forward and the right knee pulls out in line with your hip. If this is feeling like a lot just sitting upright, you can always lessen the angle so it's more of like a 45 degree angle than a 90. Now either fingertips to the earth or behind your head interlacing. Take an inhale to stretch through your spine and then an exhale bow forward with a flat back. Inhale. Exhale, bow forward, hug your belly button to your spine. Inhale, lift tall, use your back body strength to rise. Exhale, fold forward. One more time, inhale, lift high. And now as you exhale, you can bow all the way forward and relax over the left shin. Allow this side to be a totally different experience from the first side. So. This can help you to stay rooted in the present by really focusing on the sensations you're feeling now compared to those you were feeling just a couple minutes ago on the right side. Press your fingertips down and crawl them back in. And then we'll roll to our sitting bones facing the long edge of the mat. One more time, drive the knees open wide, just somewhere between three to five times. And then a couple of windshield wipers each side. Come now to the top of your mat and we'll sit onto our heels. So the toes are tucked. Sit heels, hips back to heels and then widen your knees. So they're about as wide as the mat. It's like you're gonna go into child's pose but you're at the top of the mat. And now here, bring your fingertips back behind you. Lift your hips up away from your heels, shift them a little forward and then snuggle your sitting bones sort of in between your heels. It's like a little saddle for your butt here. You may already be feeling quite a bit of sensation here on your hands. If so, stay and breathe. If you'd like to go in a little deeper, you can glide down to the elbows. And you may need to readjust by shifting your hips a little more forward here. here. And then finally, maybe lower all the way to your back. And you can stretch the arms over your head, reach for opposite elbows, or extend your fingertips back behind you. 
Press the tops of your feet down. Try to keep your knees rooted to the earth. And then breathe through your quads. Imagine that your breath is elongating that space from your hip bones to your knees. If you've laid all the way back, relax the back of your head and the back of your heart so that they're fully surrendering to gravity. Notice as you stay for a few more rounds of breath, if there's any spaces that want to engage that you don't necessarily need here. Anywhere that's used to engaging to maybe protect you from a sensation that feels intense. Or again, just a habitual holding pattern of tension. And breathe deeply into your low belly for two more rounds. And if you lay it all the way back, bring your elbows back to the earth, press into them to rise up, coming sequentially out the same way you came in. Pressing hands down, fingertips down. And then come to a seat so you can swing your legs around to the top of the mat, stamp the soles of your feet down, reach forward through your fingertips, and we'll roll down to our backs. Really slowly though, for a little bit of core work, draw belly button to spine, keep big toes rooting, and we'll roll down for 10, for nine, for eight, for seven. If it starts to feel challenging, breathe into it for six, for five, dig deeper, for four, for three, shoulder blades are still floating, for two, almost there, one, and then release everything down. Curl yourself into a really nice tight squeeze. Wrap your forearms around your shins as you hug your knees to your chest. And then you can lift your head away from the mat and try to become as compressed as possible. Really pull everything in like you're giving someone that you love a big hug. Inhale. Exhale, Shavasana. Let yourself blossom open like a flower. Stretch your toes out to the wide edges of your mat and let them fall open. And then let the palms face up toward the sky and let your head and your heart and your pelvis, backs of hands, backs of calves, heels, all anchor into the earth as if you're lying on a sandy beach. Allow your body your front body to settle into your back body. Again, like this little compression, but it's an organic one that's coming from the blanket of gravity. Close your eyes and know that all you have to do here is totally chill, just relax. Stay longer if you like, or begin to reanimate your body with full, deep, and nourishing breath. Spread your breath like it's butter to every corner of your body, and then begin to flicker movements into fingers and toes. When you're ready, stretch your arms back behind you, point your toes forward and create a big long body stretch. Inhale, 
as you exhale, roll to fetal pose, one side or the other. Pull your knees in halfway to your chest and then melt your head down onto your bicep. Palms ground down. Press into your palms. Keep your eyes closed or soften your gaze and find a seat. And let your sitting bones be like weighted anchors that are pulling you more deeply into the earth. And then let your head be like a cloud so it's floating really tall, lengthening your spine. Soften your shoulders away from your ears. Draw your palms to meet in front of your heart. Take a moment here to feel the effects of your practice. Notice if you were able to let anything go or create any shifts in your emotional, physical, or mental states. And then lift your thumbs up to your third eye and bow forward. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing this practice with me today. I hope that that felt good. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and let me know if there are any other yoga practices or videos that you'd like to see soon. But if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you can do that before you go because that really supports me. I hope you're doing really, really well wherever you are and I hope that you have a really lovely rest of your day or your night. I'll see you soon in another class. Bye.